Welcome to the expert problem solving introduction about root cause analysis with logic trees. Problems are everywhere. For example, here in the office. A database is outdated, a document error, a pending decision, staff is absent, process is unclear, ownership undefined, Network is lost. The printer is out of paper. An application is frozen. Orders awaiting processing. Excess items on the floor. Supply shortage and backlog. But there are also problems in the factory, like humidity exceeds the limit. An abnormality is undetected. Wrong item loaded into the machine. Another machine is down, awaiting repair. Instructions are missing. Process failure. Access materials. A program error. An operator is unqualified. Quality rejects. And package jammed in the machine. My name is Jörg Münzing and I'm leading you through root cause analysis with logic trees. Why do we need it? Disasters and repeat failures usually originate from a series of small problems that were identified before but never resolved because of incorrect analysis, incomplete understanding or ineffective actions. So this expert course builds the skills to analyze and solve complex problems, reducing the number of issues, incidents, losses and complaints that impact people, profit and planet. The 3P bottom line. You will learn how to systematically identify cause-effect relationships to create a shared vision among stakeholders. Those are investors, customers and employees leading to focused action on controllable causes. Insights gained from the structured analysis allows you addressing root causes far upstream, so in the previous processes, while improving detection capabilities that prevent further escapes. It makes the system immune to failure. Roles for this course include sponsor, student and coach. The sponsor allocates resources and provides context, such as a major incident, unhappy customers or identified losses. The student, like you, invests time to analyze the problem and implement solutions. The coach, like me, evaluates progress, provides advice and gives feedback. Completing the expert course not only builds new skills, but also creates a better understanding of the causal relationships that drive business performance and customer satisfaction. So what's the cost of a failure? And what's the benefit of a solution? What we can say any major failure prevented and any repetitive problem permanently solved makes a positive contribution to the bottom line. The financial benefit in our experience of a solved problem is between 5,000 and 50,000 US dollars for 90% of our evaluated cases in our database. So in essence we can say it's really worth it to solve such problems. Are you effectively solving problems today? Let's check. This is a very familiar situation. We are so busy, there is not enough time to systematically solve problems. But if we would do it, we could create a better world tomorrow. Because those problems will not repeat. 
So let's check. Let's compare ineffective problem solving and effective problem solving. What are the signs? Quick fix to address the symptoms versus continuous improvement. Firefighting going from one crisis to the next versus systematic root cause elimination. Stagnant or even declining performance versus better performance after each problem solved. No time for deep analysis. We are too busy doing many other things. Versus time allocated to analyze, dialogue and conclude. Looking for the guilty party. Hey, who did that? Versus seek a deep understanding. How did that happen? Jumping from problems into actions versus acting only after understanding the cause-effect relationships. Creating long lists of actions to firefight symptoms versus addressing all controllable causes per logic tree. Focus on defects, cost, sales, profits versus focus on process capability that drives performance. So at the end, sales and profits increase. Analyzing root causes. And there are three types of logic trees we need to understand. The reality tree to analyze event-based problems, such as a disaster, an accident, or a breakdown. Then the fault tree for root-based problems to analyze risks, delays, and defects. And the human failure tree to understand errors, mistakes, and violations. A good example is the Titanic tragedy. Newspapers reported facts and provided a very simple cause-effect analysis why the Titanic sunk. In essence, ship collided with an iceberg and over 1,500 lives were lost. That's too simple for us. We can do better. We start with the problem. 1,500 lives were lost. And there are 48 causes. The orange are action causes and the blue are condition causes. When they come together, they create an effect. And by the way, you can download this poster directly from the website at leanmap.com slash shop. It's free. Here another example, the 11-foot bridge in Durham, North Carolina, USA. And this happens every single month, for years already. So let's analyze the problem. There's a condition, the bridge is low. There's an action to ignore the sign. The combination of both causes create the effect to crash the truck. Here another example where conditions plus an action causes an effect. Oxygen is present in the room. Matches are available on the table. Striking a match causes an open flame. That's the effect. There are three types of causes we need to understand. The tip of the iceberg, that's the physical cause. So what happened? The technical reason for failure. Then just below the surface, there are the human causes. 
How did that happen? So non-performance or non-compliance. And below that, there are the latent causes. Why did that happen? The deficiencies in the management system that allowed the problem to continue unchecked. Let's look at an actual example. 0.74% patients receive incorrect insulin dose. That's the problem. What are the physical causes? So incorrect sugar level measured, incorrect dose administered at the wrong time, or even delivery system failure. So we are breaking these further down. The incorrect sugar level was measured because sensor failure or computation failure or transmission failure. The correct dose was administered at the wrong time because of a timing failure or a timer reset. And the delivery system failure was caused by an incorrect insulin computation, an incorrect pump signal or a pump failure. Let's analyze the human causes. So how did that happen? The timing failure was caused by a programming failure and the verification step was skipped. So the program was not tested. And the timer reset happened because there's a power outage that we cannot do anything about, but there was no backup power prepared. What are the latent causes? So we are focusing on the verification step was skipped because of an overconfidence error. The engineer or the programmer was too confident that it will all work without testing it. Or the person was untrained. And no backup power was used because the person was untrained, distracted or careless. Now let's go one step deeper. The causes of human failure. There are three types. Errors, mistakes and violations. The first two relate to non-performance. And violations means non-compliance. We are breaking those down into the eight types of human failure. So human failure means not meeting the needs. This can be caused by non-performance, an unintentional failure, or non-compliance, an intentional failure. Non-performance is a human error. Wrong planning or wrongdoing. This is caused by an action error, doing something not as planned, because of an action slip, a mishap, or because of a memory lapse, just forgot. A human error can also be caused by a thinking error. Doing an action as planned, but there is a rule mistake. I thought it's right, but it's not. Or a knowledge mistake. I simply didn't know. Now, non-compliance means violation, breaking rules or promises. There are four types. A routine violation. It's normal that we break the rule because everybody is doing it. A situational violation. I had no choice. An exceptional violation. There was an emergency and also acts of sabotage. I need to fight back, but that's out of scope. I hope you enjoyed this quick introduction into expert problem solving using logic trees for root cause analysis. And all I can recommend you now is go to leanmap.com academy and complete the course. Apply your knowledge 
and earn your certificate. I promise you, it will be worth it. This was Jörg Münzing from LeanMap.